Hello and welcome to episode 26 of my Working With Todoist series. In this episode, I want to go through a couple of third party applications that you can use to quickly grab tasks or quickly enter tasks into your Todoist. Now, before we start, let me just show you uh, how I'm uh, how I have uh, Todoist set up in uh, my iPhone is pretty much the same as my desktop and um, what we have here is something I, I noticed when the new Todoist 10 came out is we have a, a serious well to me anyway a big missing icon from this launch screen and that is the plus button now if I go into inbox suddenly the plus button down at the bottom appears and I can quickly add a task this is great um, and I would really, really like to see this on the opening screen, um, which you get here, um, because this is how I really would be grabbing tasks on a daily basis. So um, to overcome this problem, because it depends on how you work. I mean, I work by a lot of moving. I'm moving from office to office to office. I, I visit clients during the day. I jump into coffee shops when I've got an hour or so spare to do writing. So I like to have a very quick method of capturing my tasks. Now, my primary method of capturing tasks in Todoist is this, is this application at the bottom right-hand corner called Drafts. Drafts I've been using since it launched about three or four years ago and I would be completely lost without it. It's basically a note taker, a basic note taker too, because from here you could just start writing notes from the moment you launch it. But the functionality of Todoist means that I have a lot of options open to me of where I send that note once I've captured it. As you can see at the top of my list, I've got to add to Todoist, then I've got WOD, which stands for word of the day. This just adds a word to the bot. This appends a word to the a list in to do it in Evernote. Then I have my general note and medium blog post ideas and high blog post ideas, and then some client emails that I send, an event in task, uh, fantastical. I have a lot of options open to me. So basically, what I would do is uh, this is yet another task. Um, and what I would do then is that I would just enter that into my Todoist and it opens up Todoist and then adds the task in uh, Todoist. Now, it opens it up on the window where you can add in all the details. And if I have time, yeah, I admit I sometimes do that. But 99% of the time I just click done and it's in my inbox. So that's one area that I use uh, to capture tasks. Uh, Drafts is just an unbelievable application. Uh, I think it's only available on the iPhone, but even so, I strongly recommend that you have a look at that. I think it's about $5, $4.99 to buy, uh, but it can save you so much time. So that's one, op uh, one option. The second way I collect tasks, and I find myself using this more and more often, is I have this set up in my drop-down menu from the top. So if I drag my drop-down menu, you'll notice there that I've got Do Note. This is from the If This Then That uh, website or application. And basically, um, I have it set up to capture notes in uh, capture in Todoist, capture a note in Evernote, or do a quick, quick tweet. So um, basically, if I come up with an idea, I can just open up, click on my Make a New Task, um, a task and <laughs> we'll just type and then I can just add that by clicking the big red button straight to Todoist. Now the thing I like about this application is that it leaves me in the application so if I'm having one of those moments where I'm sure you've all experienced it where your brain suddenly starts overloading with really really cool ideas you can just um, you can just type these in another cool idea uh, send another cool idea. Um, so I can just send as many of these tasks and then bang, 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 they just go straight into my Todoist. Now, if I open up Todoist now, uh, you'll see that I have um, these, uh, these tasks have immediately come straight into my inbox. A really, really fast way of getting your tasks into uh, Todoist. Now, the if this, then that do note 
uh, application is free of charge and well worth having and I do believe that one is available on your on Android and other devices. So there you go, that's the way I capture notes, uh, capture tasks in Todoist. If Todoist um, adds this big plus button to the launch screen, like down at the bottom here, then I probably wouldn't use those third-party applications. But until they do that, I'm going to be using third-party applications to capture tasks on the run from my iPhone. So there you go. I hope that's been a really useful uh, a really useful tutorial for you or lesson for you. If you have any uh, if you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to cover in this series, please, please add a comment in the section comment section below and I will be more than happy to do a, uh, a video on those functions for you. So have a great week and stay happy. And until the next episode, have a really, really productive week.